Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Oh, yeah, internationally now, worldwide. And get those words at Crypto Muscle on the Crypto Muscle Network. Coming to you with another video. That's right, Crypto Muscle Network. And that's right, the Crypto Muscle Legacy Channel. The regular, the original channels that bring you opportunities and all that good stuff. Real news, real information. Tell it like it is. And all I got to say is, you know, also I got my Telegram chat. You got to subscribe to everything I got to stay on top of this stuff. I'm on the daily when it comes to this stuff. And as I've been, <clears throat> excuse me there, as I've been going all along, I've been on the pulse chain smashing for the longest time, a year in the making. I'm talking about, I've been in this thing for the long haul. All right, and um, still not backing down because I'm just deeply, deeply disappointed at how things have turned out with Pulse Chain because, you know, it, the, the, just the whole story of how it, he, he really just dropped the ball. All right, let's just put it that way. Richard Hart just dropped the ball. I mean, he had a good thing going, the concept, I mean, the, the run up. I mean, oh, I mean, it was a story of this of the lifetime of how this thing could have been, but yet not so much. And so, you know, you look at this useless utility, right? This useless token that I've been saying ever since Pulse Chain launched that there's no point in Hex anymore. It's useless. There's no point in having Hex anymore. And as you guys have been feeling it and witnessing it, well then, uh, yeah, definitely below a penny now because there's no point in having it anymore. You have the Pulse Chain. You have PLS and PLSX tokens. What is the point of having Hex? There is no point anymore. And that's why Richard Hart is dumping on you guys every day. And why do you think the price has gone down? I mean, look at the, the past week. Man, there was a point where it, it dropped big time here, midweek. I think that's in reaction to the whole market when everything just tanked that day when the SEC uh, decided to uh, go ahead and sue Binance and Coinbase and all that. Uh, that's where it, it sunk it to, uh, you know, 0 0.0071. Right now it's 0 0.0079. But still, from a week ago, down 41 percent and you're telling me that there's a future with hex there's what's the point there is zero reasons why you should have hex now the only reason why you had something to hold on to was you were just hoping and clamoring that richard Harbour would release pulse chain and then to my disappointment man so you're telling me that richard hart stalled all this time to only go back to the ETH network to fork off of that and then in no time <laughs> quickly produce Pulse Chain, which has, you know, problems and issues, right? And it's similar to ETH in terms of the, the gas fees associated with it and everything else that's been going on. Man, how can you guys not be disappointed in that? And just being a realist here, right? just being real. Don't 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 put on the hex hat, the Richard Hart hat. You know, don't put on the you know the hexagon flags and and or you know throw it out there and all that stuff. Just be real for a minute here. Put all of that you know nut hugging, dick sucking aside, and really think about it here. All right, you guys got to be disappointed that Pulse Chain is on the ETH network because that's not the original idea. All right. Richard Hart won't disclose it, but he's ran into many problems trying to put it off and fork it off the Binance Smart Chain. Whether it's his developers, whether it's him. For all we know, he's just a face man. That's it. And with uh, you know deeper knowledge than Richard Peterson, right? Or I'm sorry, David Peterson. <laughs> he might as well be called Richard Peterson, right? <laughs> might as well. Here, let me pull that up for you. All right? This, this is... Uh, I mean, let me see here. 
does kind of, they do kind of look alike here. I got to find it though. Is this it right here? Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. That's Richard Peterson. <laughs> All right. David Hart, <laughs> Richard Peterson. How do you want to crisscross the names? All right. That, that's definitely him. All right. And so, uh, you guys got hat. Come on. I mean, come on, man. This, this thing was bigger. Arbitrage was one thing, but, but, uh, you know, Pulse Chain and all that was bigger. I mean, this was the con job of the century. All right. This is a lifetime of, of all cons here that, I mean, how can you replicate this ever again? I mean, it took arbitraging of that, you know, magnitude and completely 100 x it big time. And so all I got to say is, man, man, oh, man, oh, man. You guys, come on. You can't say that you're excited for being on the ETH network. You can't say that you're excited that you're only 17% faster than Ethereum. You can't be excited that you got to pay Ethereum-like gas fees, right? So come on, people. Really? All right. Oh, man. Pulse Chain reduces the issuance of PLS by 25% per block compared to Ethereum. Wow. I mean, all this stuff, if it was on the Binance Smart Chain or a fork of that, could have completely blown all this away. Could, I mean, really, could have just blown all this away, big time. But to be on here is is a disservice for all the sacrifices out there for you. Come on, people. Stop, stop kissing nuts. All right. Look at this. Even sacrifice. All right, look at this. It's barely 0.92%. Or 0 0.92, you know, X from sacrifice. Not even one X. All right. Not even one X above sacrifice that PLS is worth right now. And look at this. This is uh, 0.361 X from sacrifice. So you're barely, barely ahead from the sacrifice rate. So, it's, so if you want all those little idiots out there that sit there and say, Oh, shit, it's so cheap, it's so cheap. Yeah, it's cheap, all right. Yeah, right now is, uh, well, actually, this one's probably a good time to get PLX, PLSX. PLS, I don't know about this one. Maybe it's, you know, it's 1X. Eh, it might be a good time to buy, right, if you're into that kind of thing. But these are, like, shit coins right here that are, uh, you know, DOA, dead on arrival. Because that's what pretty much happened. And it's been, uh, let's see, day 30 since the May 13th arrival here. And so, with all that, man, you can't say you weren't disappointed. This is deeply disappointing. And then when you look at Hex, you know, this is, wait, oh, let me, let me refresh this. I don't think this is right. All right, so this is, uh, you know, this is, uh, con you know, being deceiving right here. I mean, if you want to get it at one cent, all right, go on ahead because uh, you can find it, you know, way better, way cheaper over here than these other sources here. Let me refresh this. Let me make sure that uh, that I'm not I'm not reading it right here. I'm reading it wrong. So right now, 0.79. That's just in the past day, it's gone up six percent. Oh man, but down 41, 42 percent in the past week. So you guys got to wake up here and realize that uh, you sacrificed and got screwed. All right. So remember, you know, sacrifice with no expectations. Remember that, right? You had no expectations. So I bet you guys thought that you were going to get like a hex like, uh, you know, revival, right? No, man, you're going to get 10,000 X too. If hex did it, why can't, why can't PLS and PLSX do it, right? Pulse Changer. Why can't they do it too? And uh, the proof is in the pudding that uh, it's going to take, ooh, man, I don't know. It's gonna, it, it may take forever, right, to even get to there, if it ever gets there. I mean, granted, I already, I already admit, I was wrong, all right? I was already wrong about it, 
that I thought Pulse Chain would never launch. But it's funny how fast, <laughs> as soon as Richard Art announced he went back to the Ethereum network, then he had Testnet 3, Testnet 4, super quick, and then a launch right after that, so quickly. It makes you think about things a little bit. It makes you think about how it could have been done a long time ago and launched. Or, um, I guess on the Ethereum network, if that's really the case. Or, he just really just threw this thing together and said, Phew, kicked it out the door. And said, there you go. Here is Pulse Chain. <laughs> so, either way, you sacrificed and got screwed, all right? I mean, come on. And so, uh, all the little little side pieces here let's see in the past we up 10 percent oh no, i'm sorry in the day here i mean there's so many there's too many zeros account that's why it's like this all right let's look at the past week wow down uh 38 similar numbers down 38 percent for the week so yeah um yeah but these guys are bullish all right go ahead be bullish all right it's so cheap it's so cheap right now oh my gosh you know last time at this price you know it's so cheap I could. I wish I'd have bought some, you know, earlier, right? How about that? Uh, you know, last time at this price, right? Uh, let's go take a peek at uh, what's going on with Zen over here, right? This was a little side distraction, down two percent in the past day. Okay, so it's pretty much flat for the week there. But this is a useless piece of shit too. Because what's the point of having this? And we look at the circulating supply, eleven trillion. Continues to grow, 11.2 trillion. Uh, this was just a nice, useless distraction, all right, to get your mind off of, you know, Pulse Chain for a while and how it was just kind of, you know, making you think that maybe Pulse Chain's not coming, but wait, we'll distract you with this Zen here. You know, we'll get somebody that really doesn't know about crypto, just kind of represent Zen and kind of play with you guys for a while get distracted and then you know funny how that is that uh let's see will this thing load look at that it's so bad that the not even coin gecko can listen anymore that's how bad that is really bad and so um all you could do is go off of this and yeah 11.2 trillion and growing in supply let's see here all right, this one over here says 10.9. Still the same thing, it's 11 trillion. So, where do you go from here? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you can wait around, I guess, if you want to. I mean, there is 135 trillion to, uh, you know, play with over here. And, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this if, if the supply, you know, mysteriously just keeps growing, right? All right, uh, 143 trillion PLSX, and uh, surprised that uh, there's only less than a trillion with hex. But yeah, but go ahead, keep mentioning away, guys. Keep mentioning away because it's so cheap right now, so cheap, you know. And uh, Rich Hart's gonna be continuously dumping on you guys uh, like a bunch of idiots, and uh, yeah, and that's what it's showing right here because he is the largest holder of hex. And he's gonna, it's gonna just day by day, slowly just, you know, unwind and just dump it all on you guys and just collect, collect, collect real crypto, all right, as he unloads this trash right here. Yeah, so what a big mess. Another week goes by and it's just bad, it's so bad. I mean, look at these things, man. Down 40, 40, what, 2% here and, you know, nearly 40% here. And so when you really think about it, again, I'm going to restate the question. What's the point of having Hex anymore? All right. Because one, you're getting dumped on. Two, um, it's useless. It's just simply useless. And so it brings you back to more useless than this over here. <laughs> yeah, man, what a mess. And uh, all I got to say is um, it, it was fun. It's just fun watching this. And uh, you guys justify how great this is. I can't wait. And man, have this project been rolling out yet? I don't see any projects out there right now. So all I got to say is, woo!